In this how-to video, you'll learn three ways to minimize dye migration in 50-50 polycotton fleece. When used together, they deliver reliable, bleed-free results. For the demonstration, we've chosen Jersey's new blend crew neck and hooded sweatshirts. Dye migration is especially common when printing plastisol inks on polycotton fabrics. The dyes vaporize when the garment is heated above 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The process of vaporization is called dye sublimation. Once vaporized, the dye begins migrating into the printed ink film. Once it's started, it can't be stopped and the reaction will continue over time. Standard plastisols require 320 degrees Fahrenheit to fully cure. Thus, migration is already underway before the ink has fused. Many polycotton dye colors are naturally unstable at high temperature levels. Some garment dyes are much more sensitive to dye migration than others. Red, maroon, royal, navy, kelly green, gold, purple, and black are the worst offenders. Minimizing dye migration begins by choosing the right 50-50 fabric. Not all 50-50 fleece fabrics are the same. We've chosen the Jersey's New Blend fleece made with high density yarn. The HD yarn creates a tighter yarn bundle and delivers a denser, more solid print surface. This HD yarn resists pilling, which also helps create a smooth print surface. A smooth, dense print surface is the ideal platform for achieving high detail and a very thin, opaque printed image. Choose the right ink and control the print conditions to minimize migration. This is important because there's no such thing as a 100% no bleed ink. The ink should be chosen for its bleed resistance and dye blocking. Avoid using inks designed for 100% cotton fabric. They cure at 320 degrees Fahrenheit and have no dye blocking capability. Low bleed inks cure at 275 degrees. This is below the dye vaporization point of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Choose 150 48 micron or 110 80 micron mesh. Mesh tension should be 25 newtons per centimeter or higher. The ink is best printed with a hard flood stroke followed by light squeegee pressure. Use just enough squeegee pressure to clear the screen and anchor the ink into the garment. Use a print flash print sequence for maximum opacity. The secret to great low bleed printing is to control the heat. Our effort will be to direct the heat to the surface ink deposit. Begin by pre-warming your palettes by cycling them under the flashes. Don't start printing until they've reached 140 to 150 degrees. Hot palettes will pre-warm room temperature garments to 130 degrees Fahrenheit before printing. The hot palettes will also pre-warm the ink to 120 and the garments will raise the temperature another 10 degrees after they've been printed. All this pre-warming reduces the flash time to less than two seconds to gel the ink. A room temperature sweatshirt by comparison would require five to eight seconds of flash time. Set your dryer temperature to 320 degrees Fahrenheit and a 60 second dwell time. Choose the right 50-50 fabric like the Jersey's New Blend fleece with a high density, low pill surface. Use low bleed, low cure plastisol inks. And finally, keep flash and dryer temperatures as low as possible to minimize dye vaporization and migration. 
Follow these steps and you'll have great prints and happy customers.